Hey folks, welcome to the next episode in our playthrough of Stellaris. It is with the Caretaker multi-system. So, I had a little idea at the end of last time. Well, before I even unpause here. What we're going to do is, we're going to make our new robots. Uh, we'll call them the Improved Caretaker. No one improved. So, what we're going to do is, if we, we've now got four trait points we can mess around with. So, we'll take off our costs here. We'll put on Robot Upkeep Reduction. We'll then take off our repurposed hardware and we'll take energy credit increases. So, Robot Upkeep is going to mean less energy from the robots and this will mean that we're producing extra energy. Which should really help us out. So we are now going to apply that template across the entire empire. Which is going to take a really long time. Actually only 60 months, that's not too bad. It's because the Modify Species project has uh, been reduced by 33%. So this should hopefully fix some of uh, the issues that we've got here. And as soon as my energy is sorted, we're going to look at pushing at this guy with the help of the Taylor Empire. Now, it is not going to last long. But it might last long enough or be an, enough of a thorn in this guy's side that he has to turn his attention to him a little bit. Which will mean that we get some pushing time. So, fingers crossed on that one. The Horde Splinters. Okay, the death of the Great Khan has proven that the undoing of the Brill Horde... Without a strong ruler to unite them, the Brill have su succumbed to infighting once more. The Empire has been divided between the Diadochi, the most powerful and influential of the Great Khan's military commanders. Each of them now, cl uh, now claims the title of Great Khan of the Galaxy, and their supporters are locked in bitter opposition of one another. The time of a united Brill Empire is apparently at an end. So it's split into the true Brill Horde, the Brill successor Khanate, and looks like it's just the two of them. Unless that's the Kel, completed. Kel Zan star polity. Is that another one? I think it is. Lol. They are not exactly a threat. And these guys are going to be been declared. pretty weak and instantly get stomped on by everyone as a result. Okay. So then, what are we going to do now? Apart from wait, we just need to wait for this species modification to finish really. Let's see how much energy that saves us. The increase in energy that we'll get from some of these machine planets should really help. It will give us quite a bit more. And then we're going to produce extra, or we'll, we'll cost less across the entire empire, as I say. Our pop-up keep will drop down quite a bit. Hopefully that will mean that our ships can then fly out with more control over them. And as I say, we just need to get ready to fight this guy. I could spend all 16,000 of our minerals here. I also, though, would like to try and build this thing up. I don't know if it's cost changes, actually. Does this upkeep change at higher... Let's have a look. It doesn't tell you what its upkeep is. Yeah. The first step would be 75 extra research for each of these, though. That would be really good for us. Really, really good. I'm not really interested in domination in the, the this domination tree, so I think we'll just be going for edicts for the next while. Our leaders are leveling up very nicely. Good. And our citadels are there. Doing what they can. 
I mean, a 22k thing there is nothing to sniff at, especially if we get fortress block. Uh, sorry, desperate measures. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Ship build speed in a defensive war is 100%. Home territory fire rate 40%. We would get such a boost out of that. Gateway construction will also help us quite dramatically. So let's just start picking that up. But let's get the probability engine built as soon as we can here. That's next month we'll get this. This is going to give us a nice energy credit increase as well. Research concluded. Right. Let's get this one here. Oh, see where we need to... I'm not sure I need to build this. I can't remember where it goes. A war has erupted. Right. Capacity overload just wore off. I need to get that back on real quick. Ugh, that was close. <laughs> that would have hurt. Right. Where are we going to build this? Probably over one of these. Yeah, we'll just replace this on the planet. Probability engine, off you pop. Oh, the Taylor Empire's just declared war on these guys again. Well, that's fine. We'll let them have their little fight down here. It's not as if this should take that long. Let's see if we can help these guys out in any way. <laughs> they are absolutely not okay with giving us tech. Have they got a lot on us? That curiosity. I know that they're superior, so they should have loads. Oh yeah, they've got a lot of tech that they, wa they won't want us to have. All right. Our anchorages can still get upgraded a little bit here. Let's just check our resource. We are being hailed. Ah, good. There's more resource replicators we can build. Research agreement. They want 2,000 odd minerals for it. Yeah, we can do this. I think they are... They are equivalent in tech to us, but yes, we can accept that. That should help us out a fair bit with our tech still. Construction completed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. We are still making a massive amount of minerals. We can always turn this into energy if we have to. That's a point. We could just switch it over to minerals with the traders again. Like, yeah, this will let us take off now. I think it's worth doing this war right now. Because this is going to happen in 32 months. Oh, the, but Taylor Empire is probably not going to want to fight now. Yeah, he's not going to want to. Ah, uh, and no one else likes us enough to try it. Because they're all weak. Weak and pitiful. Xenophobia. Uh, great. Xenophobes. I'd have thought this machine empire would be willing to, but I think it's just because they're not strong enough. I don't want to give loads of minerals or energy away at the moment. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Alright. We'll cycle this. Want to see what else we can get here. Yeah, I think it, cycling this is good. Three months is nothing. With this, I'm going to look at... I could just spend the 23,000 on a brand new fight. On a brand new fighting force, I should say. 
the other option is that we do just take a lot of this energy and rather than bothering too much with some of this at the moment we just do some more machine world transformation oh speaking of which there's some more that will be kicking in soon anyway it's also good that this probability engine is here because we are making a tons more energy off of that as well so that's handy Research concluded. Right. Core sector system Construction increase. Construction completed. Let's go with that habitability and cycle it again. I think we've pretty much got what we need here. Right. Let us end that trade deal just now. So we're only losing 7 out of 12,000. 7 per month is not a lot, but I don't have that third fleet running is the only problem. Oh, here we go. Droning optimization. Oh, that's dropped off that. That's fine. Well, 21 months. Thirty-two and thirty-five thousand strong fleets. I've got twenty-two thousand strength stations. We are close to being able to start a new research concluded unity set uh, choice there. guess we'll just go with habitability bonuses. There's another terraforming just finished on that energy planet, so that's even more energy that we've got coming in. We can actually launch now without issue. 70 months. Right, let's go. Uh, 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 do it, don't I? Let's do it. Let's do it. We have exhausted all diplomatic options. All right, what's he got? 3,000 uh, 3, fleet over here. The rest of the fleets must be elsewhere. We don't want to push Knowledge in. is the key to the universe. We're not going to push too much into their uh, area at the moment. Let's do some habitability bonuses. Those slaughterers just finished. Oh, if I'd just waited, the Taylor Empire would have been happy to come along. A war has erupted. So the big thing that we want to do is we want to try and capture this entire chunk of land here. And we want to push them back so that we can ideally hold here and here are the next spots that we want to try and be able to get our hands on. Right, what I don't also have, which is a bit silly that I don't have this, but uh, we do not have... Our mega war forms built. There's five of them built there. Where's the next planet that we can get to? Junin. There's five there as well. Okay, now he's going to react fairly quickly to us, I would expect. So we just need to keep moving up. What is... What have we got here? Yeah, that's no problem. We can easily take that. We'll just start wiping out everything we can around here. Okay. That's done. Off to here and here. He doesn't have the FDL inhibitor, so he can't 
You can't Knowledge really stop us is too the much. To the universe. Adaptability. Core sector we'll go for. We don't worry about this just now. Oh, he has now got the inhibitor. I see. He just doesn't have it in some of these areas. Doesn't have it on this planet, for example. So it would be worth our while just trying to bomb this at the moment. Right, our habitats don't matter. We don't need to see our planets. We don't need to see our civilian ships. What we want to see right now is where our ground forces are coming in. Are they about done? No, they're a wee bit off yet. Right, okay. This is a big fleet. There's a 16,000 fleet coming in. Okay. Let's just find out where all these are then. Hurry up and build. Come on. I should have had these built beforehand, but, you know. Organised for war and all that. We have taken a little bit of damage here. A special project has concluded. Okay, the caretakers are now sorted. That has really fixed our energy issues as well there. Which is handy. We can just pop back here, repair quickly. And we'll be ready to move out again. We don't need to see these star bases as well, actually. The only things we need right now are shipyards and military fleet. Because we're making 100 energy now, we can... Oh, no, 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 don't, no. Whoops, I've just messed up. I just decided to build, to spend all my money building ships, which is really silly. I was literally saving that money for stuff. We were trying to build that thing. Yeah, we don't need that right now. Where are those units? Are you about finished building the first of your little men? I need these mega war forms. To start building them from all over the place. There's another terraforming project just finished. There's a 31,000 fleet. Okay, and there is an 18,000 fleet. Our station is under assault. What station? Right, we're going to hit this just now. Red alert. Spaceport under fire. Oh, this is fine. They're taking back the land that I'd taken. Uh, mineral production I could increase again that would be valuable to me that's a 20k fleet because it's in his Our territory station is under assault even one of these guys will absolutely annihilate them Right, let's see if we catch this fleet out and how much damage happens. Okay, we smashed his fleet to pieces. Absolutely annihilated that. Right, 
land this here. We'll quickly put this guy on it. Our forces are making planet fall. Robots. Okay. Oh, and as soon as we capture it, it takes it. Right, um... That's a problem. Well, we're moving on here then. We'll get this guy back into this territory because I don't have time to look at this. This is a 40k... It's quite a lot here. 40... That's a 50k fleet he has there. We'll rebuild this quickly. We'll have to spend our money on this. I'm going to have to not build the science station just now. That's quite a lot extra that we have to worry about here. Okay. We'll just keep pushing in this direction and I can look at just sectoring off anything that we get our hands on here. Okay, they've got quite a lot of armies over there. Research concluded. Construction completed. This Titans, uh, we want to get... Let's get this just now, get that out of the way. Uh, what is going on here? We've got 35,000. We are a little bit short there. It's 29k fleet. He has got a... Right, okay. We're hitting him on this side. If he tries to run all the way around here to get to us, we'll just move out and start attacking this area instead. We're also currently gathering up our transport fleets. I can have two separate transport fleets doing its thing if we have to. Our little guy should have no issue uh, marching down onto this planet, though, I don't think. Because these things are immense. Doing 14 to 28 uh, morale damage and 9 to 19. That's quite a... 9 to 19 is quite a, a weird amount there. What is that? Is that a caretaker's... Is that, was that a caretaker's thing? Knowledge is the key to the universe. What have we got? 32k and a 28k fleet. Yeah. Construction completed. There's just a base mineral in increase. Take this thing just now. His strength is 500 odd. This is about 400-ish just now. Right. We can easily do this. Here's some more transports coming in. War has been declared. Who has just declared war? On the brow, okay. This should this is more than manageable, I would expect. Our forces are making planet fall. But possibly not. I'm curious about how this will last. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage, but we're killing a lot of them really quick. Wow. Yeah, these guys are efficient enough that they don't have an issue. Let's just check what's happening up here, though. War report. Enemy planet secured. Good. 
There's another planet we need to put into our new sector that we're just doing. take these guys and move them back over to this section. I could take the... We've got access to this now, so we can get the home territory fire rate plus 40%. And this is easily taking all the land that we need on this side. So I'll just scoop this up just now. Right, we can move this off. It's a 34,000 fleet. We've got 36. We did smash them to pieces when we fought them. I think we can take this. Let's take the risk at it for science. Oh, we got annihilated. We are getting butchered. Wow, that was a fast drop off. Oh, it's probably because I've... Oh, no, I don't have hit and run on. Oh, dear. We lost a lot. Why have they, Why are they so powerful? They have got a lot of things that are very good against shields, but not so good against armor. I think I'm running too many shields. I think we need to change this around. Let's take some extra armor on our ships. quickly switch these around, take some extra armor. I think that'll help. Research concluded. We'll have to upgrade this again. A war has erupted. Right, we can quickly do that. Uh, okay, they're fine. Now, I did lose a lot there. We can rebuild it. It is manageable. Okay. Wow, that was scary though. I'm going to put more shipyards on here. Ship upgrades applied. Let's put the desperate measures on just now anyway. Although this is going to skew the strength of the fleets, unfortunately. Hang on a minute. Is this guy... This guy declared war on that one as well. Oh, wow. Oh, right, the Fallen Empire's now got involved for some reason. You must have, you must have uh, chosen to land on a planet that you shouldn't have. Okay, unfortunately, folks, we're going to have to finish up there just now. But thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next episode. And we'll see how this war goes at that point. So take care. Bye-bye for now.